Thanks a lot. I wanted to ask, you, you had the readout on the Central African Republic and uh, child soldiers. So I wanted to return to this, because I still don't fully understand um, whether the, 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 the current MINUSCA peacekeeping mission, its relationship to the French forces. Like you were saying that there's no relationship, or at least as I understood stood you. And I wanted to know, don't they coordinate some well, operations? I, I did say, I said okay. there, there was no, you know, the, what we've always said is that uh, there's absolutely no, uh, there's no line authority, uh, and there is no, uh, no responsibility over the troops. They are not under the command and control sure. of, uh, of the UN. But is, is the relationship similar to that between, say, MANUSCO and the Congolese Army when they sometimes coordinate and sometimes don't based on the human rights due diligence no, policy? No, I think uh, every relationship, uh, every relationship is, is, is different. Said other, but, but does the human rights due diligence policy of the UN system apply to the relationship between MANUSCO and the French forces in you know, CAR? The human rights due diligence, uh, due diligence uh, policy applies uh, across the board uh, in peacekeeping. So how does it, can, can, it can, can peacekeeping or Mr. Ladsis or somebody explain how in the nine months that the UN system has been aware of alleged child rapes by the French forces that human rights due diligence policy was not invoked or how it was invoked and applied? Well, I think a lot of these issues are being looked at through, uh, through the OIOS. Mr.